All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Buccaneers Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Bucks content, so hit the like button, hit that sub button if you guys enjoy it. Today, we're going to be talking about OJ Howard, and the reason for this is, you know, the Buccaneers will be doing a recap tomorrow, but just another disgusting, unfortunate loss to the Baltimore Ravens tonight on a short week, and Cameron Brate's got a sprained neck. You know, I, I could sit here and talk all day about how I still think Rob Gronkowski will be making a return somewhere around one month from now, but there's no fact to back that up. And, you know, it is just, I, I mean, it's a stretch. It's a reach. I just think it's going to happen, but it's not a fact, right? O.J. Howard has played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and, you know, he signed with Houston in this past off season. Spent after after he went to Alabama, graduated to Alabama, spent his first four years with Tampa Bay, playing behind Gronkowski, playing behind Cameron Bray, et cetera, et cetera. The most amount of starts in a season he saw since his second year was last year. Nine starts, 17 games played, nothing crazy, but he did have 135 receiving yards, 14 receptions. So like I said, it's nothing crazy. However, it's a guy you can trust it's a guy you can lean on. He has had seasons where he's had 500 yards, almost 500 yards in his first two campaigns. So it's not a guy who's going to blow up the stat sheet. I, I think personally there are better tight ends out there you can acquire. However, when you look at him with Houston this season, he's just barely even played. I mean, it's just... <laughs> It's just interesting, right? <laughs> Five receptions, 72 yards. That's literally it. That's all he's got going for him so far in Houston. So he's not playing much. He's not getting many snaps. And it would be just an extremely, extremely by low candidate, in my opinion. So I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. Two touchdowns. You know, he's had seasons where he's had over five. I mean, it's just, it's not a guy who's going to be crazy, but, you know, watching tonight while Cameron Brate returns from a sprained neck, I still don't even really feel all that reliable with Cameron Brate. The Kyle Rudolph experiment has been, dra like, it was just been horrible. It's been drastic. I mean, I've been getting a lot of comments because I've been making a lot of tight end videos for the Buccaneers, and people are wondering why Kyle Rudolph isn't playing. Well, you know, he's very slow right now. He, I mean, he's at the tail end of his career, more of a more of a blocker right now, to just be honest with you. And whenever he does get in, whenever he does get the ball thrown his way, it, there's just been drops, and the timing has been horrible. So that's not going to help his cause or our cause or anybody's cause. It doesn't help anybody. So... That was a swing and a miss, it's looking like right now. And while I love Kate Otten and I love Coke Keith, saw a little bit more of Kate Otten tonight catching the ball. I still, you know, you're, man, dude, this season is just, it sucks, dude. You're three and five. Thankfully, thankfully, this division sucks right now. And, you know, nine wins probably definitely wins you the division, as long as you can just take down your divisional opponents for the remainder of the season. So. Man, no one, none of us want to be in this situation. It sucks to watch. Like, it just sucks to watch. I don't need to explain that to you guys. But this is a player who, you know, he's been with Tampa for five years. You know, he's been with Tom Brady. He's been in the offense. He's been with a lot of these guys. So maybe, just maybe, I have one final target to look at tomorrow. So hit that like button, hit that sub button, and, and stay tuned for that video tomorrow. But let me know what you guys think about O.J. Howard.